on. Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. A lot of people are asking us how to get rid of the bounty, which is $267. We have a big bounty and of course you can pay it off, but people have been asking and even ourselves have been wondering how to get rid of it without paying. And if you die, you you come back and you still can't that doesn't go still so we have we come. will show you how to get rid of a bounty without paying any money and the sheriff's sheriff's office oh okay we are here to turn ourselves in stop stop press l2 hold l2 Surrender, and surrender, surrender. Oh, kill me. It's not my problem. Damn you. I'll drag your ass if I have to. Oh! Oh no. Let's now, see. Now, this is quite insane. That was that was pretty good stuff. Oh, we are in jail. And we are Arthur is thinking about his consequences in life. What happens? Do we lose money? Oh no, about that as well. And Arthur comes out. Yes, forty-seven dollars have been revoked. So what happens is you lose all your money that you have. Oh no, we did not know that. So that that was a surprise to us as uh, well. And do we have our gun still? Yes. Yes, we do. Yes, we do, yeah. But, yeah, we do. We, what about the rifles? That's on the horse. Oh, yes, it is, of course. So, the good thing is, you don't lose your weapons or your ammo, but you lose all the money that you have because our bounty initially was $240. And so, we had only $45, and that was taken away from us. So, it was a cheaper option. Way cheaper option. And guess what? We are back, allowed, in, we are allowed back in the town. To roam and do missions again. And so, go back into the shops. So, you do have to pay in a uh, way, but is way less. But, the only problem with that is if you got more money later on, how does that work? So, we'll be uh, covering that later on in the game. Make sure you subscribe, like the button, and we'll see you in the next video.